Well, good afternoon, DCO Nation. Welcome back to another video. My name is Chris. I'm with Deadcom Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you coming along. Um, I am out here in Merle's Inlet today. Oh, and those of you in the DCO Nation, I appreciate you. Thanks for coming back. Um, we're in Merle's Inlet this afternoon. Um, I got out after some rain passed, so I've got some cloud cover. Um, we've been getting a lot of rain here as of late, so I'm hoping that the water temperatures have kind of dropped a little bit and maybe we can get a little bit of afternoon action on some artificials. So it's been tough in the afternoons. Um, I haven't really been fishing them that much, but we're going to see what we can do since we got a little bit of a break in the weather. Um, we're going to be fishing the outgoing tide, uh, then low tide, and then, I don't know, maybe a little bit of the incoming, and it just kind of depends on how we end up doing. So, guys, here we go. So there's a little cut coming off of this flat area right here. So um, I'm going to throw the little Slam Shady 2.0 in here real quick see what i can't pick up so this is the slam shady 2.0 on a 3 16 ounce trout eye and uh just because we've got it tied on right now that's what we're gonna gonna try got some good oyster right here good oyster bar There we go. Fish on. Oh, flounder and he spit it off. All right. All right, so we're just going to kind of drift out, work the shorelines here, and uh, come back in with the tide. Ooh, that's what the pinfish do. All right. Let's throw him in there. Throw on another one. Stick with the Slam Shady. There we go. Nice. Pretty good fish. Oh, nice flounder. Nice flounder, you guys. That was about as subtle as a, of a hit that I've felt in a while. Yeah, I know. Man, all right guys, little flounder. I'm gonna put him on the board real quick. So I'm gonna put him back in the water and uh, let's just see what he is. I'm thinking probably 15. Let's see where he is at. Uh, with the fish grips on, 15 and a half. Fifteen and a half. Okay, let's let him go. Slam Shady coming through. Again, on the bottom. Um, not doing really anything too crazy, really slowing things down, so. Hmm. Slam Shady and the Dr. Juice. So that's uh, one miss. Hooked him up, didn't quite get him to the boat, and one landed. Nice fish. There we go, another one. 
Stay down. Stay down. Another little flounder. He actually wasn't hooked too good. He's already he's already come off. Little one. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, gosh, kick water in my face. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. There we go. Big thump. Big thump. He feels like a flounder. Way well, he is staying down. Wow, you guys. Big fish here. I don't want a horsing. Don't want a horsing. Wow. He's the he's biggest flounder of the year. He's biggest flounder of the year, guys. Got him. He is a monster. Biggest of the year, by far. Wow. Awesome fish. Need to get to the side. I can deal with him. He inhaled that 2.0. Wow, you guys. Look at the size of him. Wow. Guys, he is 20 and a half 20 and a half my biggest flounder of the year all right i'm going to get him back into the water let him revive for a few minutes He's about ready to go. 20 and a half. There he goes. Woo! Wow, you guys. Awesome, awesome fish. Man. Biggest of the year. That is just absolutely sweet. Alright, y'all. I'm coming up to a... Uh, there's a main creek here and a little creek that comes in over this way. We got to be getting close to low tide. So <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot of bait fish work there. There is a couple of birds back over here. I uh, I took off the voodoo shrimp and I put on the slam shady jerk shad. This is a five inch jerk shad, 3 16 Texas eye. And um, I'm gonna pop him off the bottom here and kind of work this little area, this almost like this intersection. A lot of activity going on around here. I'm just gonna kind of give it a pop and just let it just kind of be erratic. There we go. Fish on! Ah, a little flounder. Little flounder. Oh, he's barely hooked. Let's see if I can swing him in. Yep, I did. Alright. 
small little flounder will break that drought. And he's off. Small. Well guys, gals, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video this afternoon. What a good afternoon. Boy, with uh, all of the rain that we've had the last probably week, 10 days, um, you know, the fishing was pretty good. I can't complain at all. I think I caught five flounder, um, four were undersized, one was that 15 and a half, and then that really nice 20 and a half inch flounder um, that was actually my first release over 20 fish um if you don't know about release over 20 uh go to release over 20.org um david flad started it he's one of the co-founders of high strike and uh, he's just trying to help preserve uh, the game fish by releasing any um, trout flounder and i think sheep's head that's over 20 inches because those are the big breeding fish so that was my first release over 20 which was a, what, a, what a great fish. I, I was super stoked, almost scared, <laughs> so, but uh, loved it, absolutely loved it. Guys, I really appreciate all the support to the channel you guys have been giving me, all the comments, all the likes. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, um, give it a like, and I will see you next time.